So this is for memory profile. <clears throat> it's authored and maintained by Fabian Pedragosa. I hope I didn't murder his name too much. Requires anything greater in Python than 3.4. Um, and it'll show you your line by line function memory usage, which is actually really, I think, interesting. There's actually another package that you can download. It's called Line Profiler. And it will give you a lot more archaic information um, that I can't really go into in five minutes. But uh, you could actually ask Michael about it because it'll show you the information he's going to show you. Uh, you can pip install it. You can also get it directly from tar source. And there's also a GitHub for it. So this is pretty much the original function that I wrote. I had actually talked to James and I was going to redo it to try to show you guys a little more but uh, i got kind of bogged down with my internship so <clears throat> i pulled in the the cache just so that this wouldn't bog down and as you can see you can decorate it with app profile so then you can run it from the command line and then but you can also import memory profile and run it directly from the script as well. So this is what you would get if you run it in your terminal. Um, of course, you just run as module memory profiler and then the name of your package. And so what you're gonna end up getting is your initial memory usage. Then it'll show you what it incremented from and then your occurrences that it's counting on and then it'll just keep stepping through your entire function and show you what your progression is in memory consumption continuously. So the longer you get, of course, the better you can get uh, more details. One of the other nice features, if you have matplotlib and installed as well, is you can run mprof and run the name of your file. So once you run the name of your file, you can actually plot your file and it'll give you your line graph and it'll actually show you in seconds for each Fibonacci, for in this case, Fibonacci sequence that you're running. One of the, the added features of this as well is there's other things that you can run um, within Memory Profiler. And if you go to the PYPI page for it, you can actually see uh, even more of the nice little features that they've got going for you. So this was just a short talk to show you guys that behind the scenes, Python is doing something with your memory and it's best to know what's going on inside your functions at all times. <clears throat>